Hey everybody, what's up? It's Rob Dodson. Welcome back to the Chrome Dev Summit. We are here at the SF Jazz Center. Uh, I'm joined by Emily Stark. Uh, Emily, you just gave a presentation on HTTPS on the web and, and some of the changes that are coming to Chrome around that. Um, so for folks who haven't caught the talk yet, uh, can you just tell them a little bit about some of the new things that are coming in, in Chrome for security and HTTPS? Sure, so in Chrome 56, which is going to stable in January, we're launching a new UI treatment for insecure HTTP pages. And this is specifically for insecure HTTP pages that have passwords or credit card fields. For those pages, what we're going to do is show in the Omnibox a a label that says not secure. And our hope is that users will learn from this that they're in a particularly sensitive situation where they're including, where they're sending their passwords or credit cards, and we want them to know that they're not doing that over a secure connection. So, uh, you know, why not just go full blown, like, scary warning and be like, yo, this is like an evil website or whatever? Uh, why, not, why not take a, a maybe a, a stricter or stronger approach when doing this kind of thing? So we definitely want to do that eventually. Eventually we plan to show a very prominent real warning about the risks of HTTP. But we still need developers' help to adopt HTTPS. We're not all the way there yet. We don't have HTTPS everywhere. And in fact, there are quite a few sites still using insecure HTTP. So we think that if we were to just turn on this really scary, aggressive warning right away tomorrow, we would end up scaring some users, confusing them, or they might just learn to tune it out. And all of those are bad outcomes for us. OK, and so uh, and that makes a lot of sense. Um, I'm personally not a security expert. I, I'm, I'm imagining there's, there's a few folks out there watching who are also not security experts. So for developers who know that this is important but aren't quite sure like where to get started, like what are, what are some resources that they could check out? Uh, so one resource that we like to recommend is the DevTools security panel. So if you move your site to HTTPS and then you open up Chrome's developer tools, you can look, there's a security tab there that is designed to help developers uh, figure out if they've done it right, uh, find and fix any problems with their HTTPS configuration. So that's a great resource for developers who are uh, into turning on HTTPS, but not necessarily experts. And we also have some documentation on the web. Um, we have a web fundamentals guide. So if you search for uh, web fundamentals for HTTPS, um, there is a whole bunch of information in there about configuring HTTPS, performance tuning, search ranking, all, all the the hurdles that you might run into when setting up HTTPS. OK, right on. Those sound like awesome resources. Um, so definitely go check those out. Uh, Emily, thank you so much for, for being with us today. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, again, we're coming at you live from the SF Jazz Center Chrome Dev Summit. Uh, stay with us. We've got a bunch more content that's going up on our channel. We've also got an entire second day of content that'll be happening uh, live from this floor tomorrow. So be sure to tune in on the live stream for that as well. Again, I'm uh, Rob Dodson. Emily, again, thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Stay with us.